Pierre-Luc Dubois requesting a trade out of Winnipeg today is the least surprising spoiler that's happened since NHL insiders spoiled the entire Seattle Kraken roster like two hours before the actual expansion draft. Oh man, that was hilarious. I'll never forget like Frank Saravalli being like, oh, the Kraken have selected Jamie Alexiak and then all the replies were like, stop, we're trying to watch this, stop tweeting. But what's been the word since the beginning with Pierre-Luc Dubois? It's been that he wants to go to the Montreal Canadiens. He's from Quebec. He's a proud, grown-up Montreal fan. That's where he wants to go. He wants to live there, close to home. That's been the word since the jump from the insiders. And honestly, he's had a real tough time, in interviews especially, escaping the fact that it's pretty much public information. And there have even been a lot of times where a lot of people have thought, hey, for Pierre-Luc Dubois, it's either Montreal or bust. He only wants to play for the Montreal Canadiens. So now that his contract is up, he's an RFA, he's not a UFA, he can't just click his heels like Wizard of Oz and end up on whatever team he wants. No, 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 there's a process here where the Jets still have some team control over him. So if he wants to end up on the Montreal Canadiens, he has to pull a Matthew Kachuk. Kachuk elbow-greased his way from Calgary to Florida in a trade as an RFA by telling the Flames, I ain't signing here, trade me. And that's exactly what Dubois is doing to try to get to Montreal. However, we found out a little twist today from Jeff Merrick and Elliot Friedman. Turns out, Pierre-Luc Dubois doesn't bleed poutine and Montreal smoked meat as much as we thought. And yes, of course, Elliot Friedman did say that his vast preference is Montreal, and that's where he wants to go above all else. But as Jeff Merrick mentioned on his show today, apparently Minnesota and the New York Rangers are also high up on Dubois' list. And here's the craziest part, the M. Night Shyamalan twist of it all. Jeff Merrick said, there's also more than just those two teams. So it's clearly not Montreal or bust for Pierre-Luc Dubois. And think about it, guys. I mean, this would be far from the first time that a player is being linked to a team and they said, oh, he's going here, he's going here, he's going here. And then at the last possible minute, a dark horse team or somebody that was barely in the running snags them. It happened with Matthew Kachuk. How many people were saying, oh, it's going to be St. Louis. He's going home to the Blues, baby. And Florida, who is, yes, in the mix, but by no means were thought of as a front runner, snags him. So do not underestimate the ability of another team to swoop in and snag this guy, especially since Montreal's fat and happy right now. They know that Dubois wants to go there. They're going to say, yeah, well, I mean, we'll give you a coupon or what. Like, they're not going to give anything to the Winnipeg Jets of great value. Like, they're not going to give a king's ransom to get Pierre-Luc Dubois because they know he wants to go there. So if another team that Dubois wants to go to presents a much better offer and they can get him to stay there, like the Rangers, for example... Dude, why wouldn't Cheval Dayoff take the better offer? So if I'm the Montreal Canadiens right now, yes, I have the leverage, and that's awesome, but I better be ready to get the rug swept out from right under me too. And for some reason, I don't know why my gut's telling me that this trade is going to happen at the draft. Book it. I could absolutely be wrong, but that's what my gut's telling me. What do you think in the comments down below? Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.